Part A is an APGP question. We have an AP that is going to be matched to a GP. And according to what the question says, when we try to match this AP to GP, the 11th term of the AP, the 15th term of the AP, and the 23rd term of the AP, they are going to be matching to consecutive terms of the GP. So for example, let's say UR, then the next term will be UR plus 1, then you'll be UR plus 2. And we are going to try to find the common ratio of this GP. Calling the first term of the AP A and the common difference as D, the 11th term will be A plus 11 minus 1, which is going to be 10 times of D. Then this will be A plus 15 minus 1, 14 times of D. And this will be A plus 23 minus 1, 22 times of D. And since they are consecutive terms of the GP, that means this divided by this is going to be the same as this divided by this. They are all going to be giving us the same number, which is going to be the common ratio of the GP. So the common ratio, common ratio of the GP will be either a plus 22d over a plus 14d, or it can also be a plus 14d divided by a plus 10d. Making use of this equation, we will try to express a in terms of d or d in terms of a. Let's see which one will be more convenient. So looking at this, uh, if I were to cross multiply, we are going to be getting this as a a plus 22d multiplied by a plus 10d is going to be equal to this multiplied by this, a plus 14d square. Expanding the left-hand side, we are going to be getting an a square plus 32ad plus 220d square. And expanding the right-hand side, we'll have another a square here, then plus 28 AD plus 196D square. A square, A square, they will be cancelled. If I were to shift everything over to the left hand side, simplifying them, it will be a AD plus 6D square. This is equal to zero. If I were to factorize out D, then we will have a A plus 6D. This is equal to zero. This means that D must be equal to zero, which should be rejected. It is not applicable for us because if D were to be equal to zero, then every single one of the term of the AP are going to be the same thing. Then, um, which also means, I mean, that will really apply that it cannot be an AP. And at the same time, the question did mention that these are supposed to be distinct numbers. So it cannot also be matched to all the same numbers. So D is going to be equal to zero, or another possibility is for A plus 6D, to be equal to zero, we have two choices, either make A in terms of D or make D in terms of A. And I think the choice is obvious. We will just let A be equal to minus 6D. Because once we have this, we can actually now find a common ratio. The common ratio, which is what the question requires us to find for this GP, I can either make use of this or this. Let's just go for this. It is going to be A plus 22D over A plus 14D. And because A is minus 6D, so we have a minus 6D plus 22D divided by, uh, this is minus 6D plus 14D. All the Ds can be cancelled. Simplifying this, I'm going to get the common ratio to be equal to 2. Okay, and in part B, we are given SN, which is representing V1 plus V2 plus V3 all the way until Vn. So Sn is 3 to the power of n plus 2 minus minus 2 to the power of n plus 2 minus 5 divided by 6. And we are supposed to find Vn. And as for Vn, Vn is Sn minus Sn minus 1. I do feel that there are some students who have been just memorizing this without going that one little step further to try to understand the idea of why is it that Sn minus Sn minus 1 is going to give us a Vn. So let's just spend a little bit of time to just explore this. 
And that is actually really, really simple. According to the definition by the question, we have Sn to be V1 plus V2 plus V3 all the way until Vn. And let me write down one more term before Vn, which is Vn minus 1. So the last term here is Vn. And our interest is to find this, okay, which is what we are trying to look for according to what the question says. And in order for us to find this, we basically just need to minus away this from Sn, correct? And what is this? This is just simply Sn minus 1. So taking Sn minus away, Sn minus 1, will be giving us Vn. So let's do that. Sn here is uh, 3 to the power of m plus 2 minus minus 2 to the power of m plus 2 minus 5 over 6 minus Sn minus 1. It is going to be 3 to the power of replacing the n by n minus 1. We have uh, n minus 1 plus 2 minus minus 2 to the power of n minus 1. This is n minus 1. So n minus 1 then plus 2 then minus 5 divided by 6. So mm, they share the same denominator. We can actually combine them together. So it will be 3 to the power of m plus 2 minus away 3 to the power of m plus 1. So minus 3 to the power of m plus 1. And here we have a minus minus 2 to the power of m plus 2. Minus minus become plus. So plus minus 2 to the power of n plus 1. Minus 5 plus 5, it will disappear. This is going to be divided by 6. And in order for us to simplify this, I think one good way is for us to rewrite this as 3 to the power of n, 3 to the power of 2, minus 3 to the power of n, 3 to the power of 1. I'll do likewise for this, which is going to be minus minus 2 to the power of n, then minus 2 to the power of 2, then here minus 2 to the power of n, minus 2 to the power of 1. This is going to be divided by 6. So if we were to factorize out 3 to the power of n, we are going to be getting a 3 squared minus 3 to the power of 1. And if we were to factorize out minus 2 to the power of n, and that will give us a minus, minus 2 squared, then plus minus 2 to the power of 1. And this is going to be divided by 6. And we have a 9 minus 3, that gives us 9 minus 3, is going to give us a 6. So we will have a 6, then 3 to the power of n. And here it's going to be minus 4 minus 2. So that will be minus 6. So we have a minus 6, then minus 2 to the power of n, divided by 6, giving us the simplified, exam, uh, simplified answer to be 3 to the power of n minus minus 2 to the power of n.